guys welcome back to my channel today I have a double the fab double the fun double the fit I guess you could say so I have two boxes from fab fit fun I am signed up twice for this box just because honestly I feel like it's such a fantastic value you get tons of products in here and it only costs you $49 every season so this is a seasonal box if you're interested in signing up I will have a link below for you guys to sign up plus you will save $10 off when you sign up for your first box so instead of paying $49.95 you'll only pay $39.95 so this is not like a they're not promoting me or they're not asking me to promote this or anything these are boxes that I personally paid for so just so you know so the first one here I'm going to open with you guys is one that I kind of cater categorized towards things that I personally wanted and the other one is things that I could use for gifts and things like that so I love subscription boxes as you guys probably already know that's one of my favorite things to do on my channel is to unbox subscription boxes because I think they're fun and you can usually get a pretty good buy, a good bang for your buck so let's see what all's inside of here so I have already pulled the like pl the tape off I was gonna say plastic that's not plastic it's tape so I pulled the tape off so we can see everything inside of here I can tell you guys there are some fantastic items in this box I was very very pleasantly surprised by when I saw some sneak peeks I was like yeah give it to me so the first thing on top are some cards here you're gonna get one for hello fresh I've tried this meal service I've tried my favorite one is plated that one's really good and then we have a magazine here and the magazine's also going to have all of your information in here and it's got Megan Trainer on the front but if you flip to usually like the third page or so yeah this page right here it's going to give you all the products as well as the value as well as some information about the items to tell you maybe how to use them and things like that so that's also very very helpful now let's pull it open here the first thing i see on top is from wonder beauty this is the wonder beauty baggage claim gold eye masks so these masks are ones that you put underneath your eyes don't let anybody tell you that gold actually does much for your skin though because honestly i think it's more or less just like something that people like to use because it feels fancy but it really doesn't do much it just feels good so let's see what it says about these on the paper here though i'm sure it's going to have a little bit of information so it says the wonder beauty baggage claim gold eye masks are 25 dollars. these masks feature hyaluronic acid aloe leaf extract and lavender oil to deeply hydrate the skin and and offer a cooling effect oh my gosh like I'm so tongue-tied sometimes so $25 for these and honestly I personally wouldn't pay that for these but to get them in a subscription box I'm very very happy to have them they do have hyaluronic acid which hyaluronic acid does pull moisture from the air as well as if the but the bad thing about hyaluronic acid is if you don't have moisture in the air if you live in a dry climate it will pull moisture from within so just be careful when you use that so I'm excited about trying these out because I do have pretty big bags under my eyes my I got Louis Vuitton bags I guess you could say no they're not no I wish they were like luxury bags no these are just bags from so much pollen and stuff in the air and I think it's like ragweed in the air going on right now so I've got tons of bags the next thing in here is from Bobble Bar these are a pair of ferret ear crawlers these are really cute I'm not huge on ear crawlers just because my ears are very very sensitive like the top part up here wait a minute I was wanting to show you this top part up here I have to be really careful what I put in that hole and typically I think the ear crawlers look the best when they come down from like the top part but you can put them in the lower part and have them going up as well because it can crawl up or you can have it crawling down so I'll have to see how these are going to work for me but personally I'm just not huge on things like that but I will try it out especially because I think they're really pretty and I think they'd be nice to kind of dress up for a date night Let's see what it says about these. It says the Bobble Bar Fera Ear Crawlers are from the intricate embellishments to the modern silhouette. These earrings are an absolute showstopper. $34. Bobble Bar, I think it can be purchased at Target as well now. So if you're interested in trying out some Bobble Bar, check out Target because I think they have Bobble Bar. The next thing is from, oh, I'm like threw a little wormy thing out. We have the Aveda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. Now I'm excited about this. This is something I really up my alley. It says it's an instant visible repair protects from heat styling. You guys know my hair is pretty damaged. I like to dye my hair quite frequently. I like to curl my hair, which is not good for your hair. So let's see what it says about the Aveda product here. Flip to the next page and it is... It says it is infused with quinoa protein, macadamia oil, and soy. Instantly repair and protect your hair from heat styling up to 450 degrees. That's crazy. This is $30. Let's see what it smells like. 
Let's give her a little whiff. You guys know that's like my main thing. Does it smell? Oh goodness gracious. I didn't mean to put that much on my hand. I just wanted a little drop. Um, it smells clean. It smells kind of like baby lotion actually. It smells like baby lotion. So yeah, it does. It really does. It smells like Johnson & Johnson baby lotion. So I like that. That's awesome. The next thing is from Skin Love. This is a body boost gel for gel stimulant. It has menthol and green tea in it. It's a tone and firm product. So evidently it's supposed to tone, tone and firm your skin. I'm not exactly sure how it works. We all know a lot of these products claim that they'll tone your skin or they'll firm your skin. And I have not really seen many results from those type of products. The only ones I really see results from are the ones that contain caffeine. So this one here is... Formulated with green tea, ginseng, and menthol, the pre-workout gel targets problem areas to give you a tighter, smoother skin. $45. So you put this on before you work out. Let's see how strong it is. Hopefully it's not super mentholated because that can tend to give me a headache sometimes. Even though I know it's not bad. It smells more like aloe, which aloe you wouldn't think has a smell, but it just smells kind of greeny. Like almost like, I don't know. It's just very interesting. It's not super mentholated, which is awesome. So... I'm excited about trying that out. Well, I'll let you guys know after I work out with it if it actually tones or firms up anything even any better than what it typically would. I have high doubts, not expectations. The next thing is the Beauty Blusher. This is a little beauty blender that's for blush, but it's a real tiny one. It's just, I don't know if I, I don't have my actual beauty blender over here to show you like a comparison, but it's a real tiny one. So this is made for blush i'm assuming you could probably use it for like bronze and things like that as well or like contour so i'm excited about trying it out because i haven't tried that yet let's see what it says about this little product here it says uh what in the world i don't see it on here well that's interesting i don't see it um i have to wonder if i'm missing a section or something here no what in the world I don't see it in here. <laughs> I have no idea where it's at. So either way, I have a little beauty blender blusher. So I'm excited about trying it out. The next thing is from Human Plus Kind. This is skincare with a conscience. It's a body souffle. It says vegan and cruelty free. So I'm excited about trying this out because the last one I tried out that was kind of like this reminds me of this anyway is the Candy Johnson one. I think it was by Pure Release. That one was smelled so good. It smelled like an orange creamsicle. So I don't know what this one's going to smell like. Well, let's give her a little sniff here. Oh my gosh, it's got plastic or something on here. Here we go. Nope, I'm going to have to flip it up. Oh my gosh. They make these things really awesome that the, nobody's going to tamper with them. But at the same time, it makes it really hard to actually get into it and try it out here. Okay, I don't smell that yet. Oh, I just tooted on my hand here. Oh my gosh, that smells really good. It smells like cucumber. My favorite lotion from Victoria's Secret used to be a cucumber scented one and they stopped selling it. And that's what this smells like. Oh my gosh, I am loving this so far. So this smells fantastic. So let's see what it says about this product though. It may be like something that's gonna be super miraculous or just a typical body souffle. Let's see, it says, lather yourself in a souffle blend of apricot oil and shea butter. Your skin will feel incredibly soft and moisturized. It's only $18, which is not bad. I don't smell apricot. I actually smell cucumber, so I think it smells fantastic. So I'm super excited about that one. The next thing is a little lunchbox, and this is a Kate Spade lunchbox. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it's not real well made or anything. It's kind of like plasticky feeling. I don't know if you can tell it or not. It smells very plasticky, but which is good because you can wipe it down so you don't have to worry about it getting all germy. But it says Kate Spade here, and then on the front here it says out to lunch. So I do pack a, I don't pack a lunch, but I pack a breakfast because I typically eat my breakfast like at 11 o'clock, so I eat like a later lunch sometimes. Or like an early lunch, later breakfast, I guess you could say. So let's see how this looks. That's cute. You could also use this for a makeup bag. I mean, you don't have to use it for your lunch bag, but you could use it for a makeup bag as well because it's nice and insulated. So like if you're out in the heat and things like that, then it should help to kind of keep your products from getting too damaged from the heat. I know when we traveled to Florida a couple years ago and I had a lot of my makeup sitting in the car and it was like 100 degrees it felt like and everything was just sitting in there. I had it in something similar to this and it was fine. So that helped out a lot. 
So I'm excited about that little lunchbox. I'm not sure, like I said, that I'll use it for a lunchbox, but I may end up using it for a makeup bag. It says the Kate Spade lunch tote is dipped the paper bag and opt for this cute lunchbox, which features an insulated interior to keep your food cool. $30. I don't think this is worth $30 personally, but I mean, I think a lot of times they mark these values like up a little bit. And then if you actually were to go into a store and buy something like this, you probably wouldn't pay $30 for it. But then again, this, it does have Kate Spade on it. So that's going to make it a little bit more expensive of an item because it's got her name like logoed on it. So that's going to make it a little bit more of a pricier item. The next thing is these little cubes. These say juice cleanse. These are Harper and Ari. These are exfoliating sugar cubes. I thought this was food. Do you guys remember they had like these marshmallows that look very similar to this that were like a little bit more harder and they tasted so delicious. I don't remember what box they came in but I remember getting them in a box and they were absolutely amazing. I want to smell this. Oh my gosh it smells edible. Do not leave this anywhere near children because I am guaranteeing that they probably will eat this because it smells fantastic. So let's see what it says about these. Oh my gosh, they're making my mouth water. This says the Harper and Ari exfoliating sugar cubes and juice cleanse. These delightful sugar cubes are a great way to exfoliate and nourish your skin in the shower. All while leaving a yummy scent. I'd say it's very, very yummy. $16. So I don't know how many cubes. You get eight cubes in here. So it's like two bucks a cube. That's kind of pricey. But we'll have to see how good they are. I don't know. But I know they smell fantastic. The last thing in this box here is it looks like my yoga mat. You guys know I'm trying to get back into working out like a little bit more each day. Actually, I shouldn't say each day because I don't work out daily. I work out like as much as I can per week. There we go. We'll leave it that way. So I thought I would try yoga because I've heard yoga is actually really good for your, your mind, body, and soul. So I'm thinking about trying yoga. So I thought I would pick this item here. This is by Abundance and Balance. It's a limited artwork by Emily D. Leon Jones. So it's got some sort of artwork on this. It's a giant yoga mat. It smells very plasticky. You'd want to definitely air it out. So Here's what the yoga mat, I mean, like it's huge. I don't think I can put the whole thing in frame without folding it. And then of course it's gonna open up one more time here. So you've got a nice size yoga mat here, which is great because like I said, I would like to start trying out yoga. Something I haven't really stepped my foot into. I did plyo before, but I didn't know that I liked that that much. So it says the yoga mat is, where is it at? Um, this is an anthropology yoga mat. It says namaste while you vacay. The ultra thin foldable mat is portable so you can flow wherever and whenever. P.S. Flow on the go with all new yoga videos at FabFitFun Travel Yoga. So FabFitFun, if you sign up for their subscription service also, they do have workouts and stuff that they include with your subscription, which is pretty cool. So I'm sure they'll have some pretty cool yoga workouts that I can try out. It says this yoga mat is $50. I think that's quite pricey. So that is my first box. So my first box, I have the yoga mat. I have the lotion, which smells fantastic. I have these sugar cubes that I'm telling you guys, if you have children, keep them away because if I were a kid, I would eat them. Then we have the body gel that you put on before you work out to help firm you up. We have the Wonder Beauty gold masks. We have the bubble bar earrings. We have the cute little lunch tote or makeup bag, whichever you choose to use it for. And then we have the Aveda Damage Remedy Hair Mask. And then the last thing we have is the Beauty Blender bl Blusher. So that thing popped. So we have the Beauty Blender Blusher. So honestly, all in all, even if I don't love everything in here, how many items do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine items for $49.95. That is not a bad deal in my opinion. I think you're getting a fantastic value. So if you actually divide that out, you can see that per item you're paying a very small amount so I still feel like I'm getting my money's worth even if I don't absolutely love everything because there are some things in here that I'm excited to try like I said I'm excited to try out the yoga and everything so now let's move on to the next box the next box I also did do some add-ons so I have some add-ons in here to share with you guys so I'm gonna slot back a little bit actually I'm gonna pull my table over here a little bit actually that's what we're gonna do we'll slide the table over so I can get out all the add-ons first 
So the add-ons, typically when FabFitFun offers their box, uh, before they ship the box out, they'll have like the section where you can purchase items that are up to like 70% off, which honestly is a fantastic deal, especially if you can find some good quality things on there that perhaps you've been wanting to try or some things on here there that just intrigue you. So the first thing I picked up are two of these. I picked up two of the Corez Wild Rose Vitamin C Active Brightening Oils. So I picked up two of these because these are quite pricey if you purchase these like at Sephora. And I love this oil. This oil is fantastic. It does actually have roses in the oil. So if you're someone that you look for a good skincare that has, or you look for a good oil that's really good for your skin, this one I find to be really good because it's got vitamin C. It's got the rose on it. It actually has rose pieces in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it's got roses in it and it smells really, really good too. So this is one I cannot wait to start using. So I have used this before. I've gone through two bottles of it and I absolutely love it. I think it's really good for brightening your skin up. So they had this on sale and the bottle is glass as well. But they had this on sale for, I don't remember what the price was. Maybe if I can find the price, I'll leave that in the description box. That way there you guys might get an idea of the kind of savings you can get if you go on to a FabFitFun on their add-ons. Because let me tell you, their add-ons are spectacular. The next thing I picked up is from Beauty Blender. This is the Solid Chill Swirl. So I picked this up because I do like the Beauty Blender Swirl, like the soap. I think it's really good. But I don't like paying $20 for it. So when they have them on sale, I will pick them up at that point because I find that it's a, a pretty good value. They do get your sponges pretty clean. But you can also use other soaps. Right now I'm using this one called Fat Boy and it's like a hair soap, but it works spectacular. It works really good. I've heard other people say they use hotel bar soaps and they work really well as well. So I just thought I'd get it because it was on sale, not because I find that I needed it, just because it was on sale. The next thing I picked up is a nail polish. This is by Cure. This is a illuminating nail concealer. So what this one does is if you have any kind of bumps or ridges or anything like that onto your nail, then this is going to help to kind of uh, smooth those out before you put your nail polish on. So that's why I wanted this because I do have some bumps and ridges and stuff from having the acrylics on my nails. So I thought this would be something great to try out to see if I can make my nails look smoother, more like, like they are artificial, but they're real they're my nails. So... I'm excited about trying that out. The next thing I picked up is something that I get every time they have these on sale. These are the sponge gel sponges. Guys, if you have never tried these sponges, these are so good. First of all, they smell fantastic. This one here is in the scent. What is the scent? Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, why is the words weird? Bulgarian Rose. So this is Bulgarian Rose. And what this one is, what they are, is sponges that are filled with soap. So they use the soap and like put them into a sponge so here's the sponge and then when you get into the shower you get it wet and then you cleanse your body with the sponge and your soap's already built in these are fantastic for traveling with because you don't have to take a liquid soap with you you take this throw it in your bag and you're good to go it doesn't count as a liquid when you're traveling which if you're like me i don't want to take a bunch of stuff if i'm going on a plane that's liquidy so that's perfect for traveling um each of those sponges last for like 30 washes so that's a good amount of time as well these are fantastic though if you have not tried the sponge gel sponges out highly highly recommend them they're very very good the next thing i picked up is from skindinavia this is the skindinavia navia the makeup finishing spray so skindinavia is the same brand that makes urban decay setting spray so i've always wanted to try this but i never really wanted to order from their website i know that's really silly but i was like look they have it on a sale at the fabfitfun i'll try it out now I tried it out and it's so comparable to the Urban Decay. You can definitely tell it's the same brand. So if you were curious, Scandinavia and Urban Decay, I feel like are definitely identical. I mean, they're made by the same brand. Scandinavia makes Urban Decay. So you would think that Scandinavia might be a little bit more superior, but I feel like they're the exact same. The next thing I picked up is this little bag here. I think this is for your flat iron. I'm not positive. Let me see if I can get it out of the noisy plastic. Okay, so I bought this bag here. It says I got 99 bobby pins, but I can't find one. So you put your hair straighteners and stuff like that in here. It's going to kind of keep them protected when you're traveling. And I just thought the saying was super cute. I love the style of this, the black with the gold. I think, the, is that like rose gold? Either way, I think it's really beautiful. This is by My Tagalongs. It's a hair tool case. So it has like 
it's perfect for traveling honestly and that's what I got it for is because we are going on a trip in November so I thought this would be perfect for me to throw my straightener and perhaps my curling iron in here and that way there I can travel with them and it feels really nice it's kind of like velvety but not really at the same time it's very smooth and soft so and I thought the saying like I said was super cute the next thing I picked up is another lunchbox. So they had a different lunchbox that you could get from Kate Spade and I saw this one and I had to have it because I thought it was so cute. So let me show you what this one looks like. So this one, I think the other one's nice, don't get me wrong, the one that we sh I showed you in the beginning, but this one is just so much better in my opinion. This one feels a lot more sturdy. This one it feels like the material feels very similar but not really as crinkly, you know what I'm saying? So this one unzips this way so you can put your lunch in flat ways. So if you have like one of those meal prep, meal prep trays, it should fit in here perfectly. So here's what it looks like on the inside. You've got tons of room. I think it's really cute. It's got a little handle here. So I just thought this was super cute. And it's got all these little sayings on there. It says, the big, be the big cheese, uh, pie in the sky, the icing on the cake, that's nuts, bananas. So it's just cute. And honestly, I needed a cuter lunchbox to take my breakfast lunch in with me. So I don't know which one I'm going to use, but honestly, I really like this one so far. So now we're moving on to the actual box here. So I have my second FabFitFun box. I'll throw the paper box to the side. Let me grab the cutter out of here. Hopefully I didn't move you guys too much. I need to grab my handy dandy cutter so you can slide this open and then pop it open here. So when you first get it again, here's what it's gonna look like on the inside. And we'll see what items I chose. Honestly, I don't remember. I can't remember what I chose. It's been a while ago. And we'll see if the actual items are the same. Anything that I have that is identical that I know that I'm not gonna use two of, then I'm gonna use those for like a family member or a gift or a giveaway or something like that. Somebody will get it. So the first thing I see on top is the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Eye Gold Masks again. So we have these masks and like I said, they're really nice because they're nice and hydrating, but honestly, don't buy anything because it says it's gold because you're going to feel like you're getting something fancy. Gold for your skin is not beneficial. So again, these cost $25. So $25 and you get six eye masks in here, so six pairs. So technically 12 the next thing I know I picked this out. This is the Tristique Mini Eye Essentials, the Luxe Neutral Set. So these are the Tristique pencils that you can use for your eyes like it's an eyeshadow. These are really cool. Oh, I like the packaging. These are really cool though because when you open these up, you're always like, oh my gosh, are, did somebody already open these or what's going on here? But it's the packaging to these that's really cool because the package itself looks like it's open. And then when you open it up, the product itself is down in here. So they're really nice and they're, again, great for traveling because you can create your eye looks with just some little pencil crayon looking thing. So I'm excited about trying these out because I do like the brand. I think they do have some pretty cool items. So let's see how much these cost and if it has any information. It says, create a gorgeous eye look with a soft brow pencil, long wearing eyeliner, and velvety smooth shadow crayons. Oh, so it's like a combination. It's a complete eye look in here. These are $48. That's really pricey, but I do not doubt it because you can purchase things like this on like Sephora and Ulta and it's very similar price. So I'm not surprised by the price, but at the same time, it is a little pricey. The next thing is, oh my gosh, I have some more sugar cubes. So I have another set of these. These, like I said, do not let your kid near these because I promise you, somebody's gonna eat them. Either you're gonna try to eat them or your kid's gonna eat them. Don't eat them. These are $16. Again, they're just sugar cubes that you put into your bath with you and you like scrub with them, exfoliate your skin with the sugar. So I actually am happy to have two of those. So that makes me happy. I must have picked up two of the lunch boxes, so I'm gonna use one for like a giveaway or like a gift for somebody. So I have two of the Kate Spade lunch boxes, and again, I think that was like what, $35? So this was $30. So it's a $30 lunch box, but I'll end up using that as a gift for somebody because I know somebody else could possibly use that, especially since right now it's back to school time. So there's tons of kids that could use that. Ooh, we have another of one of the Aveda Damage Hair Rem Damage Remedy daily hair repairs so I'm excited about having double of this as well especially if it works this is $30 again it's a pretty pricey item but if it's something that actually helps your hair I don't mind paying that price if I have to repurchase because my hair is not very healthy so we'll have to try that one out as well then I have something by cosmetic pure C it's a vitamin C mixing crystals what 
That's a very interesting. I've never heard of anything like this before. So what is this? It says, nothing brightens the skin like vitamin C. Add a dose of the 100% pure ascorbic acid L to your nighttime skin serum or moisturizer. This is $54. I have never heard of this before. Mix crystals a few shakes with any of your favorite cosmetic products and apply to your face. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. We'll have to try this out and see how good it works. $54 for that tiny little container though. This is 0.2 ounces. It's super tiny. So very potent product evidently. Oh my gosh. I have another one of these. The cucumber smelling like product that actually is made to smell like apricot. So I'm super duper excited about this. Again this is human and kind. And this was, I think this was not super expensive. Yeah, $18. So it wasn't super crazy of a price, but I'm happy to have two of those, honestly. And then the last thing in this box here, oops. Oh my gosh, I got little wormies everywhere. We have the Plush Stay Warm and Stylish Ultra Soft Plaid Scarf. So this feels very, very soft. I am excited about this. I've gotten rid of a lot of my scarves over the years because I started to collect a little too many. So I started like kind of dwindling them down and now I can't find any of them. So I have no idea what I've done with them. So I'm excited to actually have a nice like soft warm scarf for this fall. I really like the way this feels. Let's see what it says about the scarf. It says, nothing says fall like a cozy scarf, especially when it comes in a classic plaid print. $75. What? What is this made out of? Uh, what in the world? Hand wash. Oh, good grief. No. <laughs> hand wash uh, it's 70% polyester 30% viscose I don't know why you'd have to hand wash I guess the viscose because it could shrink do not dry clean do not iron oh my goodness like it's very picky so basically just like don't ever wear it no I'm just kidding <laughs> but I don't like things that are like dry clean only I will personally just put it into the wash and just I'm gonna like treat it like I would anything else because I'm not gonna be like super careful about the clothing and items that I use so it's a pretty decent sized scarf though, so it would be great with like a little bomber, not a bonder, bomber, but a like a, oh my gosh, what is that called? I can't think. A pea coat? Is that what it's called? It'd be great with a pea coat. It'd be great with just a sweater. So I like this. It's really cute. So, and it feels really, really soft. But that is everything I got in two boxes. And honestly, I feel like for technically a hundred bucks, did I get my money's worth? Yeah, and then of course the add-ons. I mean, I did do some add-ons. I will have that information in the description box for you guys if you're interested in what the add-ons add were and like how much I paid for them. Hopefully I can find that information for you guys. But anyway, I'm very excited about trying everything out. I do have some items that I'm gonna put to the side for like a giveaway or for possibly a gift or something like that for somebody. But either way, I think I have some pretty cool items here. I'm very excited. Let me know what do you think of Fabfit Fun. I know this was a little bit longer of a video, but I wanted to share both boxes I got so I can show you guys like different choices you can make and honestly I think it's personally worth it to get both boxes especially if you get items that you know you're gonna love like the Aveda hair damage repair if that's really good then technically I got that almost for free so I'm very very happy about this box anyway I hope to hear you guys opinions on this let me know what did you think did you think it was a good one did you think they were bad I'd love to know thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later